What's up everybody, it's your boy Mew here. Uh, for breakfast, I had a banana. For lunch, uh, I had quinoa salad. And for dinner, I had four tacos. Um, you know, I woke up at 4, like 58 this morning. Big mistake, should have woken up at 4.50 because I had way less time than I normally do. Um, eight minutes less time, in fact. Um, you know, tonight, I'm gonna go to bed early. It's gonna be good. Um, that's my parents show in the background, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I got to work, um, and we're primarily just disassembling this model. Um, I recently had a breakthrough in plumbing. Um, I, th we have so many of these brass adapters. I looked it up, these adapters are like $4 each, which is, which is crazy. Um, but, um, I'm pretty sure, hold on, uh, one quarter, uh, I D to one quarter MIT adapter. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so like, oh my god. Yeah, so like, there are a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of these. And I just learned they're like ten dollars. Um, I'm sure we're getting industrial pricing, but it's really crazy. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of these, and uh, I watched a video this morning before my boss showed up, and uh, I learned how to measure these threads, which are MIP, and then I learned how to measure this, which is ID. Um, and turns out MIP, like a quarter inch, MIP is like not a quarter inch. <laughs> um, it's because they made MIP before like measurements were good. I don't know. It's really weird. The measurements aren't like the actual measurements, um, which is really strange, but you know, I had a breakthrough, so I sorted uh, those adapters. Now I'm trying to figure out like other things. General like weird like plumbing fittings are just, are just so strange. And I don't even know if this is plumbing. Like this is like weird like brass stuff. I don't even know. Isn't plumbing with copper? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I disassembled uh, the rest of that model with help from my boss and um, yeah, it, it went pretty well. I don't know, I can't really think of anything, but I'm sure in, the person who built the model uh, didn't build it phenomenally, uh, phenomenally um, and so there was like some mold where there shouldn't have been, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, uh, but there was some mold. And uh, I got back in the car and I was breathing in and out and my lungs hurt, that's crazy. Um, you know, the only other experience I've had with mold is in this old house. You've only, the, yeah, the entire time I've been uploading onto this channel, I've been in this house, which is crazy because we rent. Um, but um, I, in the old house, the reason why we had to move out is because we had a lot, like a whole lot of mold. Um, and, you know, it was giving me like, like breathing problems and stuff. And I had a cough for like a year because of it. It was so crazy. Um, and yeah, so that's the only other experience I had with mold. And, you know, I guess I had another mold experience today. Luckily, I shouldn't be interacting with mold anymore because the model is fully disassembled and everything else is built pretty well. But, um, God, you know, we'll see. Um, uh, you know, at least I'm getting paid pretty okay. Um, yeah, but today was really good. Um, I got really proficient with impact drivers. My boss calls them screw guns. I haven't heard that, but maybe everyone calls them screw guns and my shop teacher just called them impact drivers. I, you know, I don't know which one's the truth. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I've also, I'm also supposed to clean out this cabinet full of chemicals, uh, but we're not sure if we should wait until I'm 18, um, because there are, like, some very specific laws around that. Um, so maybe I won't until, like, for, like, 21 days. But once those 21 days are up, I'm cleaning out this chemical cabinet. And it's like fine. Uh, we have lots of PPE and we're super safe. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, you know, uh, with the tacos we had for dinner, I just had them. Oh, wait. So I got home and, uh, you know, then I exercised. Um, hold on. Yeah, so I exercised. Uh, it was for 29 minutes. I burned 390 calories. My average heart rate was 160. And uh, because of workouts like that, I'm able to have the luxury of a very low resting heart rate. Uh, today, it was 48, and that's on the higher side. Um, on July 29th, I had my lowest resting heart rate of 42. 
which is crazy. It's that's crazy. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm really happy with my fitness right now. And um, you know, up until recently, I was uh, I had some very bad habits, and uh, you know, I sort of I sort of kicked those to the side, and I'm I'm being very healthy right now. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, my weight's down, so I'm happy about that. Um, and you know, after that, we had you know four tacos. You know, which is I'm exercising so much because I I eat quite a lot. I, I like food. Um, and you know, you look at me from like a few years ago, and I was I was way bigger, and that was because you know I ate the same amount of food I do now. I just I just don't exercise. Um, and I, you know, I I I I diet a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, so it was just crazy. Um, yeah, so with, with the tacos, we used to use these harsh, and these are like American, like, beef tacos. Um, it used to be like this, like, that's what the shells were like, but now it's like, like, down flat. And you can, like, sit them, they sit up, like, they stand on a table, you know? And, and you could just pick them up and eat them, and they're, like, twice as thick as normal taco shells, so you could fit, like, twice as many fillings. Anyway, the incredible thing about, that's my parents' show, I'm sorry. The incredible thing about um, American tacos is that you're able to like, uh, oh my god, uh, <laughs> when you typically have lots of leftover olives and cheese and tomatoes because you can't measure it out perfectly, uh, so you put it all into a bowl and you like crunch up the taco shells and then you have this thing called a taco salad, which is, you know, I don't know if people have taco salads, um, taco salad Wikipedia. Oh no, there's a Wikipedia- oh! Oh, okay, it's not- okay. It's a- it's a unique thing. Check this out. Uh, this is not what I have. Um... What? What? Yeah, no, no, I don't- Um... Yeah, maybe I do have this. Yeah, we have taco salads. I, I, I thought maybe it was just a thing with my family, but they're real. Yeah, I guess it's kind of what we have. That looks really nice, though. Um, yeah, so you crunch it up into a taco salad, and so you're able to not waste any of your taco leftovers because they're all in, like, a bowl. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. All right, see you, dude.